Let's write three equivalent fractions for 5 sixteenths. Here's how we do that. We're looking for another fraction that's equivalent. It's equal to 5 divided by 16. It's just that it has a different numerator and denominator. So we could multiply 5 sixteenths by 1, and that would just give us 5 sixteenths. But what if we multiplied it by 2 over 2? Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 5 times 2 is 10, and then 16 times 2 is 32. And 10 30 seconds, that's an equivalent fraction to 5 sixteenths. If you divide 5 by 16 or 10 by 32, you'll get the same decimal answer because they're equivalent. Let's try another one. So we could multiply by 3 over 3. Again, we're dividing 3 by itself. We're going to get 1. When we multiply by 1, we don't change the value, just the representation. So another equivalent fraction for 5 sixteenths is 15 48ths. One last one. We multiply by 4 over 4, which is just 1. We get 20 64ths, which is yet another equivalent fraction for 5 sixteenths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.